Good afternoon and welcome to UCA News. The top stories this lunchtime. The EU plans a Russian oil ban. An MP resigns after watching porn in the Commons. And a stand-up comedian has been attacked on stage. A cabinet minister has been accused of being out of touch after he suggested consumers buy value brands as shoppers face the biggest rise in food prices in more than a decade. The increase in the price index is the highest since 2010. Finally, some good news from the Met Office, who say Britain could be in for a mini heatwave from mid-May, with temperatures hitting 23 degrees. It comes after an April or slightly cooler weather and less rainfall than usual for the time of year. That's it for now. More from us tomorrow, same time, same place. Have a good day. Hello and welcome to UCA Today. I'm Bradley and here are today's top stories. UCA has issued an apology to staff who came into work during Storm Ernest following complaints. The Met Office had upgraded the storm alert overnight to red, which indicates a threat to life, but the university didn't tell its staff to stay home until after the working day had started. Some staff were even told to come in despite requesting to work from home. The campus suffered a power cut and staff and students were told to stay in the canteen area for safety. As you know, these are dire times indeed. The ongoing conflict has been going on for generations. Even my own dad experienced it as a child, as it passed on from generation to generation. Of course, I'm talking about the ongoing conflict between the South and North Elves. As you know, as you're well aware, the North Elves at the North Pole believe in the old ways of crafting the toys themselves and sending them off in a sleigh. But the South Elves believe in technological advancement, getting pins every time a child orders a new item on their wish list, as they send signals to Amazon itself out to drones all around the world. What's up guys? Today my good friend's been playing pinball for at least an hour or two now. I think it's time to up the stakes a little bit. Come on. All good? Enjoying your game? Yeah. I think we need to up the stakes a little bit. Okay. Don't you think? We think this is, this is too easy. You had a little practice now. I say, how about to the winner gets a 10 grand? 10 grand. 10 grand, that seems fair. 10 grand. If you guys are watching, you got a chance going off right here. Yes. Not a great start, not a great start, I'll admit. Come on guys, 10 grand online. Right, whilst they're doing that, I'm going to do an ad. Now, I have got Spotify. You guys got Spotify? I'm sure a lot of you have. 5 99 An easy, oh, someone scored? Yes, two already. Right, i got to be quick. 5 99 for student discount on Spotify. You can make your own playlists. You can download playlists. It makes playlists for you if you don't want to make your own playlists. Do you, do you win? <laughs> Welcome to the late but not so late show with Bradley Thomas. Today's guest is Jade Fanta. It's for um, all the hard work that we've been doing over the couple of years, you know. Yes. Now this is the Bill Murray Comedy Club. Now that's named after a certain famous comedian. Am I correct? Um, actually. That's a little bit of a misconception. So if Bill Murray does visit us, we have a contract that says uh, he gives us his permission to name the club after him. But for now, it's not actually named after That's him. There's a bit of a loophole here. Yeah, exactly. Bill Murray, watching this, show up to the club, please. Please. <laughs> Pretty please. So would you say it's a nice, fun atmosphere? I assume a comedy club, is it like all jokes? Can you do some pranks? Is it... A very humorous place yeah, to be in. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. Yeah, and in the club, we have a door on the ceiling of our club that goes to nowhere. Um, work at the end of the day. Yeah, still got to keep it professional. But what would you say was your own favourite prank? Oh, so um, my boss. Uh, thank you for that strong applause. Welcome to the Oscars watch party. I'm Bradley. I'm Adriani. Oh. Any fans of Don't Look Up? You? Really? Okay, get out. Ow, oh, please. No, 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 no. You can, you can stay seated. Sorry, you shouldn't, you shouldn't pick on our beautiful audience. I haven't seen for Don't Look Up, but yeah, that's a she, she gets a bit sensitive sometimes. Sorry about that. You see, the thing is, Tobey Maguire came back. He did. Yeah, the legend. Like, I grew up watching his Spider-Man. Right? Any, anyone else? Yes, there we go. Thank you. Yes, he's an absolute legend, right? And Andrew Garfield, oh, 
I love Andrew Garfield. He's freaking amazing, right? And you Andrew Garfield fans, Mason Spider-Man. Yes, there we go. Well done. I mean, I got it. It makes my heart go tick, tick, boom. The annual Valentine's Day comes at the time of spring. Today's town looks particularly beautiful. The happy couple then found a park bench and sat down. They chatted like on the bridge, supporting each other's woes and worries. On the other hand, the isolated British man who sits alone on the bench and talks to himself from time to time, only can support himself. Would some kind stranger help him? No, no, it's just him. The joy of Valentine's Day should be shared at any time, and it's clear that the couple are adding material to their social software in hopes of scaring off any potential singletons who threaten their relationship. So imagine the fact, yes, they are a couple, and no, she is not single. Trust me, I tried. But the single guy could only kill time by throwing branches. Oh, how he longs for singletons to long for him. So I beg you all watching at home, please give this ugly duckling a chance. I'm so lonely. <laughs> Call me at 06 572 Good evening, class. We're going to be reading an extract from Diary of a Wimpy Kid. By the way, let me give you some good advice. On the first day of school, you've got to be really careful where you sit. You walk into the classroom and you just pluck your stuff down on any old desk and the next thing you know, the teacher is saying, I hope you all like where you are sitting because these are your permanent seats. Permanent. <laughs> For those that don't know, that means you're stuck there forever. So in this class, I got stuck with Chris Housie in front of me and Lionel James at the back of me. Jason Ball came in late and almost sat to my right, but luckily I stopped that from happening at the last second. Is this seat taken? Yes, 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 yes! It's taken. It's gone. First topic, cinema is dead. Oof. After the pandemic, the cinemas have been struggling to get people back in. And I'm wondering with the rise of streaming, is it time to set cinemas down? What are your thoughts? I love the big screen. I love the fact you can hear sound from all around. I love the darkness. I just hate the people. <laughs> yeah, well it's good for me. We don't have to see the people because it's all in darkness. But I do think you really can't take away from this. a whole immersive experience. Like you mm. can't get that at home. You can't replicate it. The cinema, watching the film on a big screen, hearing especially Marvel films, all the sound effects yeah. going off to the side, making the, the action a massive, mm. yeah. I think so. also like making an event out of going to the movies, whereas just streaming at home is like uncomfortable. I'm going to stream at home, but it's not as big of an event. Yeah, you don't invite everyone to your house to watch every film streamed. Yeah. But you all go to the cinema and watch, check out a big film. I get really nervous on the phone. You can't tell. No. Well, I'm going to cover things up. You're not supposed to cover things up, are you? It's not good for you. So they say. I split up with my boyfriend last week. Sorry, it's just... It's fine. Carry on. He says he doesn't love me anymore. I meant with the questionnaire. I'll just talk you up. But since the sculpture was built, there hasn't been anything strange in our school. Oh, that's very <laughs> chilling. Got goosebumps here. <laughs> Move on. Okay. Next story, please. Uh, what do you think of the two true I stories? That. Which are two I false? That. Any questions you would like to ask? Who is your uncle? Your uncle that was in the film? Yeah, so who was the celebrity that you claimed your uncle was to get free tickets? Tony. Tony Stark. So, Tony, so one of the Marvel films? Yeah. Which one? Iron Man. Iron Man. So you got free tickets for Iron Man by convincing the cinema that your uncle was Tony Stark. How did you do it? I just went and said he's my uncle. It was as simple as that. As simple as that. <laughs> well, clearly you don't need any more questions. <laughs> Moving on. Hello and welcome to Risky Quizness. I'm your host, Bradley Thomas. And today on the red team we have... My name's Bryn. His name is Bryn. And what's your favourite film, Bryn? I like Blade Runner. Blade Runner, very good choice. And we also have... Alfie. Alfie, what's your favorite film, Alfie? Your Name. Your Name. Is it called Bradley? <laughs> or is it called, it's called Your Name? In, in Japanese, it's Kimi no Mawa. I didn't get it, but very cool. Kiss from Upside Down Person. Spider-Man. Now, are you at home brave enough to take on our risky quiz? Make sure to sign up on our website and you could be sat here in the studio with us. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye.